This is a place for planting, for digging, for harvesting, for relaxing. It's a place to get your hands dirty, but most of all, it's about having fun. And that's what you'll always have when you're in the garden with Doug Oster. You want a green thumb too, don't you? All right, fellow cheapskates and garden lovers, what about this thing? $8, I had to give it a home. I couldn't leave it at the nursery. And of course, while I was there, I got more bargains. Most of our containers, they turned out great. Nice combinations, but a few just never caught on. Doesn't look right. So I got the bargains. Not only are the plants that I bought, are they gonna last until the end of the season? I'm gonna save them all winter long. And that's our first job of the day. Well, this planter looks pretty pathetic. When I first put this caladium in, these pansies were thriving and some were thriving around here. It's gotten too hot. There's not enough light for it, so out it comes. I've got this nice big caladium to go in the center and check this out. That sweet potato vine, that was a $4 plant. There's three plants in here. I originally was looking at sweet potato vines in little four inch pots for a buck a piece, but that's instant color. So is this. Both of these, the tubers and bulbs underneath, can be saved over the winter. We'll do that later in the season. But again, like I said, we're doubling our savings. So we're gonna move this caladium somewhere else, put this one in, and this is our spiller in the front. In a couple months, this is what I'm going to be saving. And we'll do that when we get cold again. Oh man, it felt good to get this thing for $5. <laughs> and it's gonna be in the garden for many years to come. Oh, look at who came to visit us. Nothing better than seeing a little toad in the garden. We're gonna let you go, and when you get bigger, you're gonna eat lots of slugs, aren't you? Three plants in one, I love it. Oh, is that gonna look good? All right. Always, as we say, water these as you plant them. I think that looks great uh, and, and cheap and done quickly. I'm gonna do the same thing in a couple other containers here. This is the perfect time of the year to spruce up your containers, add something new. And I think the best thing, of course, is getting a bargain. See those roots? That's actually part of the thing we're gonna save, but gotta kind of break these up a little bit. Seems rough, but it'll be a happier plant if we do. Happy as this gardener is putting in these plants. <laughs> I even have this ivy, which will be a perennial, and that's what I'm trying to do with some of these containers. Put some perennials in here so I don't have to keep replanting, and it's almost impossible to kill ivy, unless there's a polar vortex. All right, next up, vegetable garden. I got a great find. Also, believe it or not, for a bargain. <laughs> Well, these plants certainly have seen better days, but I know I can bring them back. I couldn't believe that I found these in the nursery. This is a very special kale called Cosmic Kale, and it was just introduced this year. I saw it at a trade show in Baltimore over the winter, and it's propagated what we call vegetatively, not from seed. And so that means in our climate, it could be a perennial year after year getting this kale that never goes to seed. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it in this cold frame and at the end of the season, we can close this up. It's gonna keep them warm, gonna keep them happy and hopefully come all the way through for one season and maybe many after that. And I think since we've got some good compost in here, these plants are gonna come right back. That's actually a two for one there. <laughs> More bargains and these things were a buck a piece. And let me tell you, that's cheap. And I'll keep the top open all summer. But as I said, when things get cold, this is gonna be a great home for this kale. This is a beautiful kale too. Once it gets going, it has this wonderful variegated foliage, which I love. And we're gonna continue our succession planting. Last week, we put in some lettuce plants. This week, we're gonna put in seeds in two different, two different manners. That's next. Give these guys some nice water. Another friend of the gardener. Nice to see lots of worms crawling through the compost. Back you go, do your job. 
Well, I'll tell you what, it's been a great year in the garden. It's been hot, but at least in my garden, we've got some rain and I want to keep it going. I'm planting arugula, one of my favorite greens and there's nothing to it. The rabbits don't like it either. <laughs> just very fine seed and just kind of sprinkle them out here. We've got a nice layer of compost already added and I can't wait till this stuff sprouts and we'll be eating arugula in just a couple weeks. All right, we've got one more way to start our seeds and then we're gonna finish up. This is the perfect time of year to start that second crop of beets and I could do it out in the garden, but what happens is I never get out there to thin them. When I plant them in a flat like this, I keep a closer eye on them, I can thin them in here. And it's pretty simple. I've just got a good standard planting mix in here, putting one seed in each of these little spots. We're gonna cover it with plastic, put it in the shade, when they sprout, we'll transplant them out in the garden when they get big enough to do so. And then we'll have lots of wonderful golden beets all the way into the fall and maybe even longer. All right, that was a good day's work in the garden. Let's finish up. We'll check out this beautiful, slightly used rotating composting bin. There's only one way you can win it. That's attending my free garden symposium on September 4th, but there's only one way you can come to that. That's if you're an Everybody Garden subscriber and you can find out all about that online. Check me out there. There's also more blog posts, videos, and stories, lots of other gardening stuff there. Till next week, maybe we should fill this up with compost? No, you don't want it filled up with compost. You want to fill it up with compost. We'll see you then.